Hello dear Cancers, this is Clarity1129. Welcome to your October 2021 monthly predictions. We will stick to the usual format. Uh, actually the format has changed a number of times. But uh, whatever we've done last month, we're going to stick to that for some time now. Alright. Alright, so we take out one card from the Moonology deck for your overarching energy for the month and you get, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Alright, so if you've been feeling bitter about something, you're being asked to let it go because whenever you hold on to negativity, my dear Cancers, it affects nobody else, it affects you. Alright, so even if someone has wronged you, if you keep the negativity within you, it eats you up. So you're being asked to release it. And when you do, you liberate yourself. All right. We're using the Morgan Griya Tarot this month. And we'll pull out four cards. One each for your general outlook for the month. And you get the lovely lovers. Wow, it's a wonderful card to get. For your love and romance, you get the Seven of Cups. Would you like this to switch? Wow. Someone else got this. Yeah, Gemini's, I think they got Two of Cups here. Hmm. For your career and finance, you get the Ten of Cups. Whoa. Okay. And for your spiritual growth, you get the Eight of Pentacles. They're all lovely cards. I wish I could switch them around a bit. <laughs> Anyway, we'll also take our two cards from this um, tea leaf tarot. This deck always makes me nervous, you know, um, not just for the shuffling, but the fact is that it's got all kinds of cards in it and I find most of them unpleasant. But it's it's not that way. It's just that, you know, just like with life, we find happiness is short and sorrows are never ending. It's something like that. But actually, we know that it's the same. We get it in equal amounts, but it's just that since we like happiness, we feel it's short. Yeah. So in the same way, these cards have positive and negative cards. It's just that the negative ones are so unpleasant. <laughs> you hope not to get them. Anyway, let's take out two cards for you. Mm. I'll take out this one. Goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. That's wonderful. It's very positive. And you get tent. Temporary situation. Okay. So these are the cards for your general reading. We'll finish this before I take out cards from Daily Crystal Inspiration, Angel Answers and the others. Okay. All right, so the overarching energy, my dear Cancers, is it's time to release negativity or full moon in Scorpio. So there's something that's happened either in the last month or previously, something that you can't get over, something that you feel, um, you know, it brings out all your negative emotions out. All right. And it's time for you to release that because it's serving nobody. It's definitely not serving you and uh, sticking. I mean, you know, negativity has never served anyone. It's just a misconception that you feel that, you know, if you feel uh, negatively towards somebody, you're going to really harm them. You're not. They're going to live their life because that's not how karma works, right? If you do something wrong, what you do comes back to you. If someone else has done you wrong, it's not as though when you do something wrong in return, I mean, that you're settling the score. No, what you do uh, wrong comes back to you and what they did wrong comes back to them and you in no way will be concerned with what comes back to them. You won't even get to know of it. All right. So what you're being asked to do is to just release all this negativity and concentrate on positivity, concentrate on your life, reprioritize things if you have to. All right. Now, with this beautiful lover's card that you have as the general outlook for the month, it can come out in a few ways. For one, there is a choice that needs to be made uh, during this month, which is going to uh, possibly bring you happiness. But to be able to make this kind of choice, you need to first and foremost relieve, release negativity. All right. Secondly, uh, lovers also can talk about uh, 
you know, partnership. So maybe there's a great partnership in your life, uh, either, you know, in the family, I mean, or a romantic partner, or it could also be um, as far as your work situation is concerned, you know, some partnerships just work out. But the over, uh, I mean, the general outlook for it is that it's going to be beautiful. In fact, it's going to be very positive for you. But to be able to allow something positive to come in, you have to first release the negativity. Because if you don't release this negativity, if some um, great offer comes your way, you are going to be extremely uh, doubting of it. You know, you'll be suspicious. As it is, water signs are known to be extremely suspicious. You don't trust easily. That's uh, true for Scorpios and it's definitely true for Cancerians as well. So you're being asked at this time to release that and learn to trust. All right. And things are going to work out beautifully for you. Now with this goldfish and the tent. Okay. I feel that if you find yourself as you enter October, that things are not going the way you wanted it to. Okay. As I said, release the negativity and start believing that things are going to change and change in your favor and more so with this tent which says temporary situation so whatever low that is going on in your life right now my dear cancers it is temporary it's going to just change and things are going to start looking really bright for you along with that you get this goldfish which says increase in material wealth or spiritual growth so either great understanding is coming your way you're going to start see things uh, seeing things differently all right, you're going to get a lot of clarity about certain situations, certain questions that have always been plaguing you. And or or you are going to have an increase in your material wealth and seeing the 10 of cups here, all this happiness and celebration in your career and finances sector, I feel you're going to have great increase in your material wealth. Now, for your love and romance sector, you get the seven of cups. So uh, if you're single, great news you've got a lot of options in front of you you have a lot of suitors uh you you are actually spoiled for choices all right so you're being asked to follow your gut instinct cancerians are known to have a very strong intuition so you're asked to follow your intuition before you choose the uh, a person you'd like to spend your life with all right but again to be able to allow someone in, to be able to trust them, you have to first release negativity, bring in some self-love. And when you love yourself unconditionally, that's when you can open your heart out for others to come in, right? So for those who are single, you have a lot of choices. You can take your time. For those who are partnered uh, or in committed relationship or in a marriage, um, with the Seven of Cups, you are in a state of confusion there are a lot of either it is um, that you're in a, a partnership and you and your partner you want to do a lot of things and you don't know what you want to do you know um, or it could be regarding your home there are uh, certain renovations you want to do or you want to go for a holiday you want to buy a car there are a lot of things and you don't know what to do at this time so maybe you and your partner are going through this uh, sort of confusion um, during this time all right it could also be that you know you're in a state of um, confusion in your head about where this connection is going for those who are just partnered in uh, recently you, uh, you know you're confused whether you want to take this to the next level or not so you're in this uh, confused state all right So as far as uh, singles are concerned, it's a win-win situation. Those who are just in, uh, just gotten to a, a partnership, uh, you are, um, you know, uh, that especially if you haven't released your neg negativity, you are actually questioning a lot of things in this relationship. You don't know whether you've made the right choice or not. And that's where you stand. All right. And you're being asked to actually clear your doubts and, and be sure before you take things to the next level and if you're already in a committed relationship or a marriage then you're being asked you know break things down if you've got many things that you would like to do with your partner break things down 
everything is not possible to, uh, you know, it's not possible to achieve everything overnight. So reprioritize it. Speak to your partner with this beautiful lover's card. You have somebody with you whom you can speak to, whom you do trust. And the, uh, so you work with them to find the perfect solution so that everything can happen over a period of time. All right. For your career and finances, you get the beautiful Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups usually is a family card in the sense that, you know, um, you will usually find a man and a woman uh, with a little family around them and all this happiness and rainbows. So it's all happy, happy. So getting it in your career and finances, say that you're in a very comfortable position as far as your career is concerned. You may get bonuses. You, you may have an increase in salary. You may have a promotion depending on what kind of job it is. If you're an entrepreneur, you're going to get, uh, you know, you're going, you're, whatever your venture is, is going to do extremely well. And you're going to get a lot of uh, gains. Okay, you're going to make a lot of money during the month of October 2021. So it's beautiful. As far as your spiritual growth is concerned, you get the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is about, um, talks about someone who's working really hard. And it looks as though you're working really hard because that's why uh, you are getting the fruits of your labor. All right. Now, during uh, and why are you getting this so much uh, happiness and fulfillment and material, uh, you know, comforts and luxuries during this time? Because you've been working hard and you've been enjoying what you do. All right. The pers uh, you know, uh, there is seven of pentacles in which a person has done a lot of hard work and he's just looking back at all that he's done and he's feeling that nothing's come of whatever he's done. But the eight of pentacles is someone who uh, is working so hard, he doesn't realize when days, uh, how many days have passed or, you know, when the day goes by, he begins at dawn and he doesn't know that sunset is here. But he's just so engrossed in what he's doing. He just loves what he does that he doesn't see. And in being so engrossed and enjoying the journey, he's actually making so much of happiness for him. And for you, you are in the same energy and it is during the time that you're working, you know, for whatever it is that you're working in, whichever area of life it is, that is where your maximum, maximum spiritual growth happens. And that's where you have this epiphany perhaps to release this negativity. And you're being asked, the faster you release this negativity you have, towards anybody you know people could have wronged you i'm not saying that whatever uh, you feel is um, based on nothing no it may have happened i uh, we do feel bitter about things only when someone has wronged us but you're being asked to release that negativity some things are meant to happen to help you grow so you allow it to come and you let it go yes it will hurt you feel the emotion but then process it and when you're ready let it go don't let it linger around because you then stop your own self from enjoying this beautiful life that we have all right because you're just stuck in one place so you're being asked let it go so that's as far as your basic reading is concerned before i pull a card from the daily crystal inspiration i'm going to take a sip of water We'll take out one card from here for advice from Spirit. What you need to know for this month of October 2021. And you get Selenite. Clear the clutter. <laughs> I think this has got to do with this romance sector of yours. There's a lot of choices. There's a lot of confusion in your head. Declutter. That's the best way. You know, whether it's within your home, within your mind, whatever it is make things simple and your life will be so much easier now if there's a pressing question on your mind think about it because the angels are ready to give you an answer and here is your answer not the right time all right so if there is something that you're planning to do you know, if, if it's a new venture as it is, you know that Mercury is in retrograde from the 27th of September to the 18th of October in Libra. So if there's something new, ideally, it will not be the uh, right time to do it. However, if it is something that, you know, if you don't do it right now, that opportunity is going to go away from your hands. Please do it. But check, double check, triple check if you have to before you sign any papers, before you... Um, uh, you know put forth any form of communication because there is a uh, 
great chance during uh, mercury retrogrades especially because mercury is the ruler of communication of gemini and virgo so during this time uh, it's possible that you have misunderstandings in any kind of communication with your partner uh, with your boss you know especially when if you're giving something in writing uh, please be very very sure and be careful as to what you put your name on what you sign on things like that all right now where will you see maximum uh, changes during this month of october and you get love wow i thought it'll be wealth for you seeing so much of wealth around here but it says love so this month you're going to see change in your love uh, situation all right which is always a great thing to hear and uh, whatever you're waiting for if there's a time specific question on your mind when will this happen and you get december so you don't have to wait very long it's right here two months from now things are going to work out the way you want it and whatever you're waiting for is going to come to you so the highlights of your reading my dear cancers is that it's time to release negativity please declutter and um you know iron these doubts otherwise it's a very very great uh, reading so whatever it is if there's any niggle anything that's not going okay if you release that negativity uh, and that suspicion whatever's whatever little lows you feel that are happening in whichever area of your life it is it is just temporary and it's just waiting to go all right and things are going to be nice and bright for you in the month of october so with that uh it's a wrap from here and I'll see you at the end of the month with your November predictions. Have a wonderful October 2021. Bye-bye.